<laughs> hey everybody welcome to team terry's keto kitchen i am renee i'm going crazy <laughs> and we are hashtag team terry happy sunday everybody we are coming to you guys live from cool california um as you're coming on please let us know where you are watching from if you are you know, tell us where you're watching from. Tell us where we'd like to see how far we are reaching. If you are catching the replay, drop hashtag replay in the comments. And if you're new, welcome. We're usually not this, okay, yes we are, but still it's a little worse in quarantine. We are in day 17, 17 of quarantine. Mark is now making um, faces on the toilet with toilet paper and paper towels. And so, you know, it has been, Definitely entertaining. We are got cabin fever. So as you guys are coming on, like I said, say hello. Make sure you share this out. Sharing is caring. Hit that share button. Share it to your favorite group, your favorite keto group, your mom, anyone that you want to. Just please share. We appreciate it. And if you guys are not following us, make sure that you are following us. Tap my nose. Three dots up at the top and select follow. I am going to go share this out. You guys, these are really good. Matter of fact, um, these are dangerously good. So there's going to be a warning label. So yes. I'll hand it over to So <clears throat> we're going to make some uh, Krispy Kreme copycat donut holes. Uh, I took this, I took this uh, recipe um, off of Pinterest. It was a, 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 a Krispy Kreme donut recipe. And I've modified it so that we can make some donut holes because we don't have a mold big enough for uh, uh, donuts. So we went, we went and looked yesterday. We went and couldn't looked yesterday, one. couldn't find anything. So um, we decided we'd do donut holes and they turned out just as good. So uh, warning, you don't want to eat more than one or two of these at a time. But uh, <laughs> I think we've done in a dozen <laughs> already. At least. So um, you can take this recipe. We will post it in the uh, description after, after the live. Um, but you can take this and divide it by four, and you can make donut, uh, uh, actual donuts with it. It'll make four donuts. This makes, uh, the recipe we're going to post is, we'll make about 40 donut holes. So, um, YouTube. also if you're, uh, yeah, check us out on YouTube at Team Terry Keto. Uh, Team Terry is one word, the T's are capital. We have our videos in there. This one will be in there sometime today or tomorrow. Um, and if you're watching us on YouTube, come over and check us out on Facebook at Team Terry Keto. So, uh, I'm going to tell you what the recipe is that I modified. And then uh, I've cut this in half because we need another 40 of these things in the house. No, that's so, a little dangerous. Yeah, but um, we start with a uh, half a cup of coconut flour, um, a cup and a half of almond flour, Four te teaspoons of xanthan gum, that helps it rise nicely. Uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a cup of swerve uh, granulated sugar, um, which I do believe I forgot to put in here. Oh dear Lord. Yeah, so we'll have to get that before I start mixing. And then a half a cup of melted coconut oil um, and and eight eggs. So. Um, can we get that? that? Yeah. Sort Just, yeah. The, no, the granulated in the third box there. The third and, uh, yeah. And uh, my measuring spoon, which you've moved, oh, we're over there. Okay, perfect. What do you need? Um, I need a quarter cup. Ta da! Uh, so we'll put this in there and mix it in. Hey guys, as you're coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. Hey Cheryl, hey Nikki, hey Grace, hey Gracie, hey Beth, hey Teresa. Thank you guys for jumping on. Hey Kelly, hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Let us know what you guys are doing to stay sane. Unfortunately, we are baking, which, um, yeah. <laughs> we. We, okay, so Mark is baking and I am eating. Um, but yeah, it's all good, guys. It's all good. Yes. Okay, so I've got the granulated sugar in there. Um, and then we're gonna add to that the uh, eggs. I've got eight eggs um, and uh, a half a cup of melted um, coconut oil. We're just gonna make this into a dough. And, uh, well, I can use that in there. And then we're gonna form it into a, 
Donut holes. Oh, it's so good. You guys can see them right here. I'm telling you, they are addictive. Hey, Maria, thank you for saying hello from Winnipeg. Hey, Charlene, thank you for saying hi. Hey, Terry from South Dakota. Tammy, you're working. Okay, well, we appreciate you out there being on the front lines. I hope you are being safe. Be safe, yes. We really do hope you're being safe, but we appreciate you. Hi, Deanna. Looking good. Yeah, all these are, I'm serious, they are really good, you guys. They are, I mean, flat addictive. These are dangerous. Dangerous. I mean, look at these. Don't they look like Krispy Kreme donuts? And, of course, the idea that it's a donut hole is even more dangerous because you kind of just, mm, you, you can have four and that's equal to one donut, right? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to try the macros on this because uh, uh, neither one of us want to know. <laughs> yeah, no. We'll have to post them for you guys. And I will post the recipe up there um, in the comments after Mark gets done. Okay, so I've got this all mixed up into a uh, kind of a sticky dough. Uh, put that back over there, right? You'll need that. Oh, okay. Um, I just take these and just form them into little balls with my hands. Um, I use a uh, tablespoon and a half uh, cookie scoop to make the, uh, to scoop it up. So that'll make about, uh, like I said, about 40 of them. So wet your hands and you're going to have to continue to wet your hands because this dough is sticky. It will stick to your hands. So let me get my hands wet. Hey, Bill M. I see that you're wanting the ingredients. You guys, I will post them up in the um, description as soon as we get off here. Hello, Lori. Hello, Alicia. Hey, Joellen. Thank you guys for jumping on and saying hello. If you guys are wanting more recipes, um, we have an amazing recipe group that we are a part of that has a lot of inspiration, has a lot of different things, a variety. You never have to eat the same thing twice. Um, drop group in the comments and I will get you guys into that group if you are not in there already. Um, like I said, these, we had a friend that made a different version of these and see, this is what I like about this group is you can go in and if you don't have an ingredient, you can find a different recipe for it. So we didn't have the whey protein that um, she used, Joellen who is on here, that she used in hers. So we found a different one, and this one had um, the xanthan gum. Xanthan gum. Xanthan gum, but Mark put that in there. Um, and so it's just a great way because there's so many different ways, and even though we tried a different one, this is so good. This one turned out really, good. really well. And we did look for a donut pan. We have the small one. Yeah, we've got a mini donut pan, but that's more work than it was really worth. Yes, but see, on this one here, you can do the donut holes, which is, I'm telling you, I'm like, I'm sold. I was told Mark, I said, let's do muffins, but then we couldn't figure out how to dip them in the glaze, which you guys will see next. Um, and this recipe here, Mark cut in half. Yeah, what I'm making right here is half of what this recipe is. Because what we're going to post, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What we're going to post will make 40 donut holes, approximately, if you're using the little uh, scoop, tablespoon and a half scoop. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have your kids at home. They'd love these too. Oh, these are really good. And no sugar, so they nope. won't be wound up. Well, sugar substitute. So make yeah. them for breakfast, and then you guys can make them tonight or tomorrow, and your kids can just grab them and have breakfast because they're they're really not they're really that good. bad. Yeah. I mean, they're nutritional-wise either. So I see a lot of people saying group on there. I love that. Um, I will get you guys in there. Oh, my goodness. Anybody else having an extreme sweet tooth ever since we've been quarantined? Um, if you are got sweet tooth in the comments, please let us know we are not alone. Um, grateful, we have a, fasting always helps our yes. sweet tooth. And I need to get back in. I'm gonna start my fasting tomorrow. I'm gonna start my, at 16 hours, eight o'clock tonight, I'm not eating anything and I'm going all the way till noon. Um, I am. I'm going. I'm doing 16 hours, 8. I got to get rid of this sweet tooth. If you guys fast and it helps, drop fasting. Or if you want more information on fasting, drop that in the comments because we are getting ready. What do you look like? 350. The other case? Oh, bake 350. Yeah. And you're going to preheat your oven to 350. And you're going to bake these for about 20 minutes. See, and he has to keep wetting his hands, you, you guys. Keep wetting your hands because it does get very sticky. Yes. So if you guys are interested in fasting information, okay. let us know because sometimes it's easier, especially now. I know even with like my family, we get on Zooms and it helps like get through the day. But whenever you're on apps and have a group, it just helps you to 
Stay accountable. Oh, mega sweet tooth. Yes, Sarah, I can no. totally, you, you are my girl because it's just terrible. I told Mark we made these and I was like, I grabbed my thing of water and I said, 10 more gallons of water. She did. <laughs> I really did. I just needed she to like. She didn't do the 10 sips. She went for 10 gallons. Yes. That's a great tip though on the 10 sips. You guys, if you don't yes. know how to get your water in when you grab your water. I need over 128 ounces a day. Mm -hmm. And it's, if, yeah. every time you drink it, which you shouldn't drink ice cold water anyway. Room temperature. Um, yeah, room temperature. Chug 10, 10. 10 full swigs. And it'll help in. you get your water in. It'll curb your appetite. It'll fill you up for a while. Yes. And then you're, uh, you can get all your water in. I, so. I find, too, that I have a lot of sweet cravings when I'm dehydrated. <clears throat> so that's another thing. Like I said, so grab your bottle of water, you guys. Take 10 chugs of water and then do your sweets. That's a tip. And also, I will get you guys fasting information. Hey, Sue, thank you for saying hello as you're jumping on. Cheryl, I see you love sweets, too. Oh my goodness. Okay, you ready for me to like heat this up a little? Because you. Um, no, not yet. Oh, okay. I'm finish these. And you don't want to go a minute either. Okay, 30 seconds. Nice. I was going to count to 15 actually. See what happens when Renee helps in the kitchen, you guys? <laughs> Good thing I was looking that way. Oh my gosh. Hey, so we can't, you guys, if, I see a lot of new people on here. I appreciate you guys jumping on. If you are getting value from this, can you write value in the comments for us? Hit that love button or the like button, the wow button. Let's give it some reaction on the screen and share it out. Um, also, make sure you're following us. Follow us for all things Keto Sue. We appreciate you saying we make the best stuff. We try you guys to come on here twice a week. Try and, and do just something different. Something different, something that we love um, whenever we try it and share it with you guys. Yep. And then if you guys, Mark said on the beginning on YouTube, Write YouTube in the comments. If you're wanting the YouTube link, you can go over there and all, we have 80. We've got over 80, 80 recipe or 80 videos in there now. I can't believe we've done 80 live Facebook lives from yeah, some people right? that two years ago weren't doing anything, but we we're have not a, doing that. <laughs> we have 80 um, recipes for you guys over there. So drop YouTube if you need that link. And we are working currently on getting everything to a website to where you guys can go over there and hit a print button. So then you can just print these recipes yes, out you like print we out all got. The ingredients and uh, do everything. You ready for me? Um, that's not ready to go in the oven yet, but yes, you can go ahead and do that. 15 seconds. Okay, so this is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes once the oven heats up. We should have done that already. Uh, yeah, do 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, and then stir it and see. Be careful that pan that bowl is going to be hot. Okay, well you can walk. So through the we've steps. got some that we've left here that we're going to uh, we're going to dip in the glaze just to show you how to how that works. Uh, the glaze is um, one cup of Swerve confectioner sugar with uh, a quarter cup of water and a half a cup of coconut oil melted. Um, we've already, I've already mixed that up and warmed it up and it's in the microwave and she's working on putting it, uh, getting it warmed up Got now. Got a whisk for me. I didn't want to whisk. Okay, let me see what we're doing here. So you guys, he does this on the stove. We did it in the microwave so we could be over here to show you guys all of this. Yes. Um, so you heat that on the stove. On. You heat. Oh, I can just put it back on here. Okay, you heat that on the stove for five minutes, stirring constantly. Stirring constantly, yes. It'll turn a light brown. You don't want to use a high heat because you will scorch it and then it won't taste good. So yeah. and you want to use a medium to low heat. And when you first start, it's kind of a creamy color and the oil is like separated. Just keep mixing and keep going because by the time you reach your five minutes, it becomes just like a glaze. Yes. Perfect like and this. It is just a glaze. And I just drop the, uh, I just drop the, the donut holes in there. I've got a, a sieve type little uh, spoon to take them out. And we're just going to uh, coat them real well. Just flip them a couple of times and then set them on a dish to... Uh, to cool, uh, cool. As they cool, they will um, they will get a little bit crunchy, just like a, a glazed donut does. Um, and then uh, they're ready to eat. You can eat them warm if you want, um, or you can let them completely cool and then just put them on, uh, put them out after that. So 
Hey, Alondra. Hey, Vincent. Thank you guys for saying hello. So I'm going to put the entire recipe up in the comments so you guys will be able to make it yourself. Remember, this was done on the stovetop. We just kind of yes. did it already because we made some and we figured, okay, but we wanted to come on and show you guys because this is one you need in your life. You absolutely this is just wonderful. need this in your life. Everybody misses donuts, I'm sure. Oh, my gosh. And for your kids, too. For everybody that has your kids at home, this is a great donut recipe for yes. your kids. I mean, a treat on Fridays. Maybe do like your treat like you used to do. I don't know. We used to do with our kids on Fridays. They would get a treat. But there's no sugar in it. Yep. And they're not going to be able to tell the difference. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Sherry. Thank you guys so much. And make sure that if you share it out, you drop share it in the comments so we can give you guys a full name shout out. Okay. So I've got those dipped. Now they'll cool and we'll have glazed donut holes. We've already got a bunch there that are cool. I mean, you guys, these are, see, I, I'm those sure you can so see, good. you can even like see kind of like how they look, just yeah. like Krispy Kreme Krispy donut Kreme holes. Donuts. Absolutely. And no, we did not, yes, we did bake them for 20 minutes. 20 minutes at 350, yes. So we're waiting for the oven. We're waiting for the oven to warm up. To come back on, and then we will put these we'll in. Put these in, and then once you take them out of the oven, let them sit and cool for 15 minutes or so. But you want the glaze to be nice and warm. So mm -hmm. if it starts to crystallize, which it will, mm -hmm. um, put it in the microwave 20, 30 seconds just to get it back to liquid um, so that you can dip the, uh, the donut holes in there. And it reheats super <clears throat> easy, you guys. So make sure yes. that you share this to your page, share it with your friends, and make sure you guys are following us. Touch my nose, three dots up at the top, and select follow. And then that way you will be notified when we come on and we come to you twice a week with keto kitchens and we try to cover all things keto if whether it's like water intake during the week yep. or just being inspirational fasting fasting things, and yes. if you want info on fasting definitely drop fasting, fasting in the in comments because that will help with your sweet cravings that's why i'm getting back on board yep. tomorrow all your bloat all of that will take care of it <laughs> exactly and i see a lot of love coming across the screen and we really appreciate you guys so i hope you're all staying safe Yes. And sane. And sane. Um, that's being the hard part. We're all staying safe and staying inside, but the sanity is quickly leaving. Yeah. But anyway, we love and appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for spending some time with us. <laughs> Bye.